we'll let the talk show live on the air. And I was like, we don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling and saying that. It didn't uh-huh. just come out, though. Yeah, it's like, uh, like, did you send it Did you send it? I was like, did did you send it The main thing is we have it now. Right. (laughs) It was so funny. It was like three years ago, so it was so funny. Uh He was like, you don't have it? I was like, no. But that's okay. (laughs) Because we got it. We got it now. I love her. Have you ever seen her in concert by herself? Yes. Man. Don't you remember when she came here with um, Men of Standard? They opened for her. She was fantastic. Is that she, who that was when they were at uh, Bishop yes. Posey's church? No, they were oh. at the palace. Oh, oh, I didn't see her. She was fantastic. Um, that was the first time I'd ever seen her by herself. By herself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I saw her at uh, Bishop Posey's church. She did a concert. A friend of mine took me to, mm-hmm. to a concert, and she she preached. She preached a little bit. She prophesied and sang her face off. Mm-hmm. Lord Jesus. I was tired when she got done. I was like, my goodness. She right, right. Uh, she just had a birthday, yes. October 17th. Yes. Uh, she's had a live album from Houston and the Rolls of Gospel, Living It and More. She's had many, many more albums than yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, of course, her children are Nakia Cole and Gregory Cole Jr. Let's see. Have we ever seen her husband? He's quiet I say, husband. I've never seen her husband. <laughs> Quiet husband. But that's probably why Mm -hmm. it's been successful. Because Mm -hmm. he was not... um, One has to talk and the other one has to be quiet all the time. Well, well, he wasn't... um, (laughs) What's the word I'm looking for? Envious of her status. No. Where God elevated her to. Absolutely. He was glad about it. Mm -hmm. He was glad about it. That's the song. (laughs) He was glad about it. (laughs) Of course, everybody knows she's from the famous... Clark sisters. Or infamous. Yes. You know what side of town you come from. <laughs> I see. <laughs> She's so, uh, they're so down to earth. That's the one thing that I appreciate oh, yeah. about all the Clark sisters. We, I've been out to their artists. What is it called? The artists and... The artist workshop thing. Yeah, that they do every year. I don't know if they're still doing it, but I've been yeah. to it twice. And they come here to Columbus quite yeah, often. Yeah, they do. They have a great It's close. Connection. Yeah, it is close. <laughs> so they can get here pretty and quick. And people love them. Mm-hmm. That, because they're phenomenal. Well, she was our gospel legend for today from yes, Detroit, Michigan, yes. where it's getting even colder than it is here. And did you know she was a three-time Grammy Award winner? Yeah, I, I did. That. I told everybody that you oh, know when you when you to went to get the food. Oh, you know. sorry. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah, I did know that, and she's been nominated and won countless amount of stellars. Yeah. I mean, if we talked about all the Clark Sisters awards and everything, we'd be here all day. And all night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but they know. They know. But we wanted to do her today because we had done Karen and, of course, the whole family. Right, right. And we've done the cousins of the Clarks and all that. Right, so, right, right. Yeah, we... Hey, but who's our gospel artist spotlight? I love him, too. Yeah. It's William McDowell. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll talk about him in a minute. Let's take a break. And you're going to listen to one of his songs after the break. Keep it locked to the praise. 